Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall discuss how to generate structure in Win2K using W2 web interface. This video is for the beginners, those who just started using Win2K. So let's start. So from the terminal first we shall run W2 web to start it. Now I have the link here. So you can start from here, but I have the link bookmark in my browser. So I will start from here. So this is the page that we get. Now here, if you have uh, started previous session, they will be here since uh, this is my first time. I will start a session. So I will name it as titanium carbide. So this is the mostly given example for Win2K. Even in the user guide, you will get, get this example so uh, this name is have to be so chosen in a way so that whenever you see the name you understand what is in the system or what you have calculated so I click on the cre uh, create button now you can see I have other two folders already there in Win2K directory but I want to create it uh, a new directory titanium carbide so I will click on this button create or change now it's created, so I'll select this one. So I have the uh, directory ready. So this is the directory titanium carbide in Win2K folder. Now let's start uh, generating the structure. First I will show how to generate the structure. Then I will show you how to import uh, already generated structure. That could be in struct format or in other format also. So I'll click here, struct gen, that is to generate a structure. Titanium carbide has two atoms, so I'll generate a template with two atoms. I'll click here, generate template. Now you can see, this is the title, uh, this remain inside the file. So uh, whatever name you give, it doesn't matter too much. And I know for the titanium carbide, this is P type lattice. This is important, you have to know it, the type of the lattice. Uh, the length of the unit cell is 4.328 angstrom for all three and this is an angstrom so I kept left here angstrom if it's in another unit yeah, there is bore you have to choose it and alpha beta gamma all are 90 degree the first atom is titanium there is L000 position so I'll leave it like this Second atom is carbon, that is at 0 0.5 position, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now if I uh, save it, you have save structure at the bottom and also at the top, so if I click. Now I need to create RMT for the calculation, so I will click here. Usually you don't need, you can keep it zero if you are doing SCF calculations. But if you are going to do volume optimization and you expect this, uh, length to be uh, reduced then you have to reduce it uh, reduce RMT uh, such that when the uh, length of the cell reduce then the RMTs don't overlap but if it's, if it's going to increase then uh, it won't have any problem uh, let choose let me choose it two percent so now you see that these RMTs has been chosen and the value of Z has been changed already now here I have given name I didn't give the value but you can give the value of Z for the atomic number and uh, what in that case whatever name you give it will not make any change uh, they will take from this one so this value has the priority if you do not set the value and give the name then it will create uh, or get the value of Z automatically okay now I will save it now this time I will save the file so you can see that now the background color has been changed that means the, now the structure is ready and you cannot change you can select it but you won't be able to edit anything to edit you have to click edit stack file again okay the structure file has been generated so if i go to this folder from terminal you can see this is the structure file you can view it with xcristen if you if you have this view structure option in the w2 wave 
you can click here if you don't have it you can watch this video from my website so this one installing x christian and enabling view structure in the uh, in w2 web the link of the uh, address of this website will be given in the description box of the video so i click here the structure so now you can see this is the structure if you click s this gives the name if you click y then gives the coordinate you can also change the background clicking in this button you can click white whatever color you like so i usually like black so this is the structure you can rotate and you can visualize it there are many other options you can see you can click on different since this is cubic and symmetry in all three direction they are not making any change but okay there are other options also you can visualize in differently okay this is one way of generating the structure now let me show you if you have already a structure generated you want to import it for the system so i have other two folder other folder like a uh, test folder so i have the structure generated here i want to use this one so let me create a session with that name so i will give test i have created now i want to choose this folder so i will click here and uh, select current directory so now i am in this folder so let me uh, show you that you can see i don't have any structure here so if i click here it doesn't give me anything because i don't have any structure but i have a structure in the keep folder so if i go in this folder so i have different structure let uh, me choose this one so i want to use this one so how i can choose this one what i can do i can copy that uh, i in this test folder i am now in keep folder but i i have to keep it in the test folder so i go back and i have to name it as test so i name it as test dot s ct struct now you can see if i click here i have the structure and if i click here i can see the structure also so this is how you can uh, import a structure which you have already created now this structure is in struct format but if you want to import like this one so let me delete all this no not from this one let me for the test folder so let me delete all this is the structure so i don't have anything here so i don't have the structure file here so i want to use this one let me choose this is zip format i have shown you how to use this track you have to copy it and rename it as the folder name but let me uh, try to this one so if i click on the struct folder it doesn't show anything but if you go below you have the option to import a struct file you can uh, uh, use zip or you can use xyz what you have to do you need to click on upload but one more thing if you have the folder file in the test folder it will automatically show here but since i have the file in keep folder not in this test folder it is not showing here so what i do i click upload and i choose the file so in the from the test to the keep i let me choose this in oxide i'll upload it now it's showing here i will select it and use this one now you can see the structure has been generated but this is uh, editable so if you want to make any change but i'm not going to do any changes here so this is the structure now you can visualize this structure this is hexagonal zinc sulfide structure okay this is uh, how you can generate a structure or you can import a structure let me show one more thing sometimes you will have a structure uh, let's see you have this test structure uh, this is struct file you don't want to create uh, or start a w2 web session but you just want to visualize it you can do x right x crease then then minus minus w i e n win underscore struct then you choose the structure file if you keep give a n person that will help to use you can use other things after opening this one now with this command you will be able to open the structure file with x crease then so let's do it 
press enter now you have this structure so the details also are printed in the terminal now if you want to do anything else you can do here but if you didn't if i didn't put the end sign the terminal will not come back to this stage so you won't be able to do anything unless you close the structure file okay then this is how you can generate a structure and you can import a structure also that's all for today thank you